Hey everyone, welcome to Tech Cravers. Things have been moving quickly in the emulation scene lately. Just recently, Ryojinx, yes, that other Switch emulator, announced that they are halting all development after reaching an agreement with Nintendo. Around the same time, one of YouTube's top handheld reviewers, Russ from Retro Game Core, revealed that he got a second strike on his channel for showcasing Wii U games running on Android. That's right, the same Wii U console that you can't even buy games for anymore since Nintendo shut down the servers. So it's been a bit dramatic lately. But on a brighter note, there's exciting news. Since July, there's been a beta version of CMU out for Android. CMU is a powerful Wii U emulator that's been available on Linux and Windows for years. And now it's finally on Android. And it works incredibly well, even in its early builds. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set it up on your Android device and play one of my favorite Wii U games for you. Let's dive in. The installation process is really straightforward, but before we begin, let's assume that you might already have CMU installed on your device for some reason. If that's the case, make sure to uninstall it first to avoid any conflicts. Next, open your preferred browser and simply search for CMU for Android on Google, or you can click the direct link to the GitHub page provided in the video description. Scroll down until you reach the releases section, then tap on the latest release, and this will show you the available assets, Look for the APK file and tap on it to start the download. Once the download is complete, tap on Open and then select Install when prompted. And now that CMU is installed on your device, it's time to load up your legally obtained Wii U games. There are several ways to extract these games, but the simplest method is to use your real Wii U console with custom firmware. If you'd like to see a tutorial on that in the future, let me know in the comments down below and I'll consider it for a future video. For this guide however, I'm simply gonna transfer my Wii U games I already have stored on this external hard drive to a location on my device that I'll easily remember. I'm using the built-in file manager for this process. Keep in mind that Wii U games can come in a few different formats, but they need to be in .vua format to work properly with the CMU emulator on Android. And while my games are copying over to my device, let's quickly go over the minimum requirements for this to work. Your device needs at least 4GB of RAM and a Snapdragon CPU, preferable a new one like the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, which I'm using in this Odin 2 device. It may still work with an older device, but you'll need to test that out yourself. Alright, now that CMU is installed and we have some Wii U games on our device, either internally or on a micro SD card, let's continue. Open up CMU and you'll see that the game list is empty. To add your games, click on the settings icon, then select add game path, click the plus sign and navigate to the folder where your Wii U games are stored. Once you've located it, tap on use this folder at the bottom, then go back and you'll notice that the games are present in the list. We're not quite ready to start gaming just yet. Head back into settings and scroll down to the graphics settings. Make sure that the async shader compile option is checked And once that is done, go back and open the input settings. Tap on input overlay settings, and if you're using a device with built-in controls, go ahead and untick this option. However, if you're on a smartphone without physical controls, make sure to leave it ticked. Now go back one step and tap on controller 1, then select emulated controller and choose Wii U gamepad from the list of options. Now simply go through each button and map them to the controls on your device. This is down to personal preference, but I like to keep the layout as close to the original as possible. For the last few buttons, blow mic, show screen and home, the only one that's really important is show screen. I recommend mapping it to one of your back buttons or any other available button, so you can easily switch between the TV screen and the Wii U gamepad screen. I leave this footage running so you can follow along and copy my input settings if you like. If you feel confident with your setup and want to skip ahead, feel free to jump to the next chapter where we'll cover some game mods.
Alright, now that our controls are mapped, I want to show you a handy trick before we dive into a game. Open the settings menu and scroll down to graphic packs. Tap the download button in the upper right corner and Simi will automatically download any available mods or graphic packs for the games you have installed. For example, you'll see that there are a few mods available for Wind Waker HD as shown here. These are optional, but some can significantly enhance your gaming experience. For instance, Breath of the Wild requires an FPS patch to even be playable, so make sure to check out the mods available for each game. This is also where you can adjust a game's resolution, either lowering it or increasing it depending on your preference. But now, it's finally time to test out the game. Here I'm playing a very popular HD remake featuring a boy in a green tunic on a quest to rescue his sister. The game runs flawlessly on this device, but unfortunately I can't show you much of it in this tutorial. And I'm sure you understand why. Instead, I will show you a few minutes from my favorite game, which should give you a good idea of the potential this emulator has. I'm talking, of course, about Barbie and her sisters, Puppy Rescue. This hidden gem for the Wii U follows Barbie and her sisters as they run a puppy rescue center. Your goal is to find, rescue and care for lost puppies around the city. You'll complete various tasks like grooming, feeding and training the pups to get them ready for adoption. It's practically Grand Theft Auto 5 level as you roam the city solving major canine crises. Sure, it's not quite as epic as other Wii U titles, but the open world freedom of controlling Barbie is truly unmatched. Definitely a must play if you're looking for an intense adrenaline filled experience or at the very least to see what this emulator can handle. So there you have it, Wii U emulation on Android is not just possible, but it's actually pretty impressive. With CMU now on Android you can take some of your favorite Wii U titles on the go with solid performance and a wide range of customization options. Whether you're looking to relive some of the nostalgic moments or just explore titles you might have missed, it's definitely worth checking out. Plus, with the mod support and graphic enhancements, many games look and play better than ever. If you're a fan of portable gaming, this is an option you just don't want to overlook. And that wraps up today's tutorial. I hope this guide helped you out to get CMU up and running on your Android device and gave you a glimpse into the awesome world of Wii U emulation. It's amazing to see how far mobile technology has come, allowing us to play these classic titles anywhere we go. If you found this video helpful or learned something new, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tech and gaming content in the future. I'm always covering the latest in emulation, handled gaming and more. Got any questions or requests for future videos? Drop them in the comments section down below. I love hearing from you. Thanks for watching and happy gaming everyone.